you have to live in a freaking shoebox in college. <laughs> Hello friends! this video I'm going to show you guys some stuff I just picked up the other day to try and make my life a little bit easier next year. Now you might think, Lindy, you're going to be a senior next year. Why don't you own some of these things? And to answer your question, I don't know. These are also things that aren't necessarily just like dorm things that can like be used throughout like down the road because I didn't just want to buy things that were going to be like junky, you know, or like things that I was never going to use again. So anyway, I went to the container store. I flexed. You know how it is. All right. Let's go. By the way, I'm not living in a dorm. I'm living in my sorority house though, so it's like kind of a dorm. Like it's me and another person in a really small room, so you know. I got this here gold box, which I'm gonna lift up and show you guys, but I love stuff like this because you have to organize your stuff, you know? So I have all my nail polishes in here, but this gives me a way to like make it not look ugly. So here it is, and you can kind of see it's like, it's really pretty. It looks like a beautiful, this is like honestly pretty cheap. Um, I'll link these things in the description. I want to say, okay, I did no price tag. I think it was like 20 bucks. But yeah, and it just houses my nail stuff. Ooh, that's got a scent now. Mmm, nail polishes. I'm not gonna breathe that in again. So let me go over here and grab something real quick. So I picked up this like round gold container, same kind of finish as this. They have a bunch of colors and finishes for um, these like containers. They have a bunch of different shapes as well. I got this circular one thinking I was gonna be so smart and I was like, this is gonna be perfect for lipsticks. Well, they're actually the exact, a little bit too tall because the lid like drops down a bit. Can you see that? So um, my, like, they're like the perfect height, but like not when the lid's on. So that didn't work. I have a new use for this. I ended up putting my like hair breads in there and I'm going to put like scrunchies and stuff in here too. So that's because these are like, you know, these babies will get everywhere and they're like kind of cluttered looking to have out. So you can put them in here and then you close it in a container, you know, you know how the container store be. Put it in a container and then it doesn't look so junky. But for the time being, I am just going to set it right there because I don't feel like putting it back where it belongs. Let me show you these drawer dividers that I got. Let me get up though again. Okay, so here's the background on these babies. I got two that look like this. Boop. I think they're 20. I think they are 20 each. I can't remember. Tan fabric. I thought these would be great for like my underwear drawers, honestly. You know, organize everything socks, swimsuits, you name it. So I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm going to have the best life. And now that I have these here drawer organizers, Wrong. Um, they don't fit in my drawers at home. My drawers at home weren't long, like deep enough. And they also don't fit in my drawers for school. So then I was really sad. And then I was like, I'm just going to return them. So I'll just get a different kind of drawer divider. Well, guess what I done found? A dresser at Habitat for Humanity that I found today. It's going to be an a process. I'm going to have to do a DIY video on it because I need to paint it. Um, I need to do a lot. But anyway, these fit in there and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using that in my dorm next year or using the one I used last year, but these fit in that one so I don't know and it's like the perfect width and height for a dorm. But it's so heavy. I don't know. But I just thought I would give you that little background. But these babies are so nice for if you have a shelf that you need to like organize things on or if your drawer fits them <laughs> they are great because I just have all my stuff shoved in there and I know a lot of people don't operate like that but um I do I do operate like that unfortunately hey okay so I got a trash can I'm not gonna make you guys look at that but I got a trash can it's a trash can but I got this laundry basket I'm sorry let me let me assess the situation. So I got a laundry basket to use for next year because I had just like a mesh one with like handles, you know, and I never did my laundry. So then when I wanted to do my laundry, I had to walk down the hallway with a body bag almost, like the heaviest laundry basket probably in the city. Um, and it broke a little bit, but it still works. It's just that I um, hurt myself physically, mentally. It was a lot. So, and then I would see my roommate Mackenzie. She had a laundry basket on wheels and she would just be flexing, rolling down the hallway easy. So then I was like, frick it, I'm going to get one. So... Let me show you that. It's already full. Okay, so this is my new laundry basket. Okay, those are your sneaker balls. So look, you just like lift this baby up, put your clothes in there, and then it has a little handle. And on the back, it has wheels. And that's something I never considered. Um, even like when I lived in the dorm, you have to walk to a laundry room, you know? So yeah, that's like one of those things that you don't think about because who wants to think about that? You know, it's not fun to think about what laundry basket you're gonna get. So I mean, I just used one that I had at home 
and it was horrible and I never wanted to freaking do anything. I mean, I don't want to do my laundry to begin with, but like having to pull that gigantic or like carry it down the hallway made it worse. So if I would have had that, especially in a dorm to go down the elevator with your laundry basket on wheels and just wheel it in there, that would have been lovely. Also, I watched Mackenzie like pack up her stuff in that and like use it as a suitcase Loki. That's kind of like the most functional thing I've bought in a while for myself. I think that would really make my life easier. Again, leave it to me to wait till senior year to do this, but oh well. Okay, this next thing blew my mind. When I saw this, I'm like, no freaking way. How many people can relate to this? You have stepped on sunglasses, sat on sunglasses, thrown sunglasses around, willy-nilly they got scratched or they could get scratched or squished. I live like that. That's how I've lived for 21 years now. Until I saw this. It's a box with the glass thing on, well, plastic on top. <laughs> and look at this, so you open it and it has like a little ridge in the center. Let me, owie, let me come show you. Oopsie. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, can you see that? It's like a ridge for your sunglasses. Like you can literally, and look, look how, like that could fit so many more. You can put your sunglasses in here and then you can see what sunglasses are in here and then you can close it. Oops. And they don't get crushed. I just had my hair in there. <laughs> they don't get crushed. So this would be great. Mm, it's lovely. It's honestly a really pretty box too. Like that could sit on a dresser. Fine. Um, it could sit on like a stack of books or whatever or in a shelf and not get crushed. I'm just literally so shook about this. Or in your closet if you had room. I just can't believe people have been living like this and I've just been left out, you know? Okay, this one's for them girls. Again, 21 years old. I've been doing my laundry for how many years? And I haven't had these. I just got um, mesh like bags to wash bras in so that way the hooks don't get like stuck on anything that's mesh or on your pants or on anything and get all tangled up or come unhooked and hook on some, you know what I mean? Um, I have misshapen a lot of things in my time, so it's about time that I get something to wash delicates in. And then I just got two of these underbed storage bags for um, things like that I don't use or wear that often. I think will be nice to have underneath my bed because if you like loft your beds or like lift them up at all, you'll have a ton of room under there. So and that's wasted space if you don't have storage for under there. So. God, these are babies. Okay, I have one more thing. I'm gonna go run downstairs and grab it and I'll be right back. Okay guys, um, so this next thing, <laughs> this is like a dolly cart thing, you see? You know? It's got wheels on it. Let's zoom you out a little bit. You know what I mean? If you put this thing on the ground, if you had a, any open space on the ground, which I don't because I'm a freaking mess. Yeah, so usually, this is what I mean when I say I usually scan from people. I would usually like, Mackenzie had one of these and it helped me, I wheeled my dresser into my dorm with this, like, could like prop it up on here. Oh dear God. Wheel it down the hallway and stuff. And I didn't have one and I didn't even know that that was a thing. So anyway, I didn't even know that was a thing. Then in the sorority house, I saw people wheeling stuff around with a dolly and I'm like, y'all got mini fridges on here, dressers. It explained so much. And I was like, I have to get that. I have got to. Finally, as a senior, I'm telling you, one more time, one more move in, I'm finally gonna have it all down. But I think that'll be handy in my life too. And that'll help me move stuff out so much quicker. But also I will probably lose most of my muscle definition because <laughs> I've had to carry the orange stuff up and down the stairs. That is the end of my organizational haul for this oncoming school year. I can't say that I've always been the most organized person in the world, but as long as I have things that make it a little bit easier, maybe I'll try a little harder this year. I hope this is interesting. I'll do some more back to school hauls. I always been buying clothes and school supplies and organization stuff and decor and all, all types of the whole shebang. You know how it is. Hit me up on this, still subscribe to me on here. That's what's up. Thank you. I love you.